All right, people. Some of y'all might not like this. We are back. Great freaking episode right now. Some of y'all are not going to like this. Well, some of y'all are religious Christian folks. You're not going to like this. Dirty Truth in this full effect. Dirty Harvey, baby. Come see us out on tour. Come see us. Uh, come see me perform at a few other shows I have coming up. But people, this is the raw truth here. Check this out. Ripley's Believe It or Not. One, Christian supremacy uses God to justify its bigotry. Here's what I find extremely fascinating. The definition of the devil in the Bible is an evil spirit who tempts and motivates people to commit evil acts while pretending to be God. In other words, the devil is an evil spirit who pretends to be the angel of light or a god of good and then gets his followers to commit evil atrocities in his name, thinking that they're in fact following God when they're really following the devil. And doesn't this make a lot more sense when we look at the history of Christianity, the Inquisitions, the Crusades, the witch burnings, the Catholic priests, atrocities against little kids? And most people won't even think about that. They don't want to think about all the hangings. Those are done by Christians. All the all the raping and slavery and all of that done by Christians. Um, all of the starving the people and feeding them scraps and shit done by Christians. Uh, slave trade and uh, coming across the Atlantic and all of this done by Christians. Um, I mean, you know, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me not drop. Yeah. White supremacy, colonization. The God of the Bible is defined as angry, hateful, and jealous, and kills innocent people, and even supports slavery and teaches you how to own a person. Doesn't the Bible make a lot more sense when it's not the biography of God, but actually the biography of the devil? Now, I didn't, now that's where I had a problem with God, but actually the biography of the devil. I had a problem with that. When he said this right here, supports slavery and teaches you how to own a person. Doesn't the Bible find is angry, hateful, and jealous, and kills innocent people? And even Okay, cool. I get it. We get it. We get it. All right. Yes. It is in the Bible that God is a jealous God. There be no God before him. Yes, he is a God of war. Yes, he is a God of anger. And that's why Jesus was sent as his love. He was that gateway. He was that human sacrifice, son of man you know, with the holy power. But these are the things that people aren't aware of. You guys don't know this shit. You guys hear messages like this, like even though they can have some truth, but they'll have some false in there. And if you're not capable of understanding the true origin of the book and where it come from, I get it. The book been manipulated. The book got this. With If the book was manipulated by some white supremacists, do you think they would take out all the stuff about Israel being black? Because there's so much stuff in there about these people of these Israelites who are black people. These Jews who are literally black people. Literally. So, I find it very fucked up when people are taking a book that don't pertain to them. And trying to give it across as it's their book. The book is not a Christianity book, people. The Holy Bible is not a Christianity book. It's a book that talk of the it talks about the life of the Israelites. Literally. The book is all about the Israelites. Has nothing to do with any other fucking religion or anything else. It literally has the book only pertains to the Israelites. The 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, cool. I'm in it right here. There are 12 gates in heaven. And the only way to go through those gates, you have to have the bloodline. Right? You have to be in the bloodline. Okay, cool. If there's only 12 gates in the heaven and the whole world is all about Christ and receiving the, be the beloved heavens to be and all of this, there's only 12 gates. Only 12. And it represents the 12 tribes of Israel. Which gate are you walking through? Hey, do you know your lineage? Do you know where your people come from? Do you know where your, uh, I mean, are your family a part of that lineage? How you know that's through your dad's DNA? 
follow your dad's DNA, you will know if you're part of those tribes or whatever the case may be. You will know what tribe you're part of, and that's how you know the gates. I'm literally giving you niggas the plugs, like the plug plug, you know. So this is a very controversial topic. A lot of people aren't willing to talk about, aren't willing to have that educated conversation, or can't even comprehend what I'm saying. So that's why I don't have conversations with people who cannot comprehend even what I'm talking about. Because they tend to make these conversations an argument. And it's not. It's a full-on historic discussion. We out of here, people. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. Chia, Diddy Harbor Podcast. We out.